We're in the middle of Seton High Street, outside the Long Scar Hall, with Councillor James Black. Councillor Black, we thought it was a nice site before. It certainly is now. What's going to happen from here? Uh, difficult to currently say. Uh, it's obviously an ongoing investigation with the police and the fire brigade, uh, of which the local authority are helping at all points. Um, what comes after this point, um, your guess is really as good as mine at the moment. It obviously doesn't look safe now, does it? So does that mean the fire department can authorise it to be demolished, perhaps? I'm not sure of what the procedure is, but if you look closer, you can you can obviously see the uh, the walls are starting to crumble. There's some serious cracks up there. Um, it is a dangerous structure, and uh, you know I'd, I'd I'd recommend that everyone keep away from the structure, um, especially young young children. Um, what happens at this point is that once the police and the fire finish their investigations and decide on, on what happens then, the structural engineers have also been involved as well. Um, they will give the go-ahead to uh, when the services can go in to the building. Following that, um, I'm guessing an assessment will be made and then a decision will be made on the outcome in the future. Not really what we were going to talk about, but there's obviously a problem with uh, youth violence and uh, bad behaviour, which some say may have contributed to this. We don't know at this point. Uh, is there anything that can be done, you know, with CCTV cameras or anything like that the town can do? Um, I mean, I'm going to sit on the fence with regards to the reasons why this all happened. Sure, um, I, I, I honestly, I, I have no idea. There's been no information uh, communicated to us with regards to whether or not there was uh, deliberate or, or, or anything like that. I know that um, certain news outlets have mentioned the fact that the, uh, the police are reporting this as arson. Um, however, until I'm notified of anything else, it is really still an investigation. Uh, with regards to CTTV, it's something that we've continued to campaign for in Seton uh, specifically. We do go through bouts of it. We're very lucky in the long term sense that we, we don't have a lot of uh, big issues with youth violence. However, uh, we will continue to campaign for a camera, some cameras, especially with a new park next door to the Longsca Centre, um, in the hope that we can stop this uh, or nip it in the butt before it, before it starts. OK, hopefully you'll keep us uh, up to date with what's going to happen. Absolutely. As soon as I know something, you will know something. Thanks.